Here this week, I couldn't stay quiet all week. Michigan, Michigan State week. You know what's so bad about this game? I mean, literally, I used to come every year to quote a player, you know, a little brother. We're going to win. The, you know, we've seen everything from the block punt to to the to the controversial no pass interference calls to just some of the craziest innings in this game, overtime game. Well, you may call it like all these things inside 10 points. The last year, the team that runs the most usually wins. And of course, I would get the edge of Michigan, of course, in Michigan, even though they have a has been a trophy contender. I'll give the state props. They actually built this team up pretty good. Now, I usually don't give props. And I guess the saddest part about this year for me personally, this rivalry is there's not one good quotable from a player, a coach that's currently involved in this game at all. Like, usually get at least one quote from somebody every week. It's Friday. There's no good quotable. I'm just like, that is totally disappointing. So the people out on Facebook that's watching, yeah, no quotables, but some of y'all on here either played college football, played against Michigan or Michigan State. Yeah, there's some guys, people on here have actually in this video that's watching this video tagged in that actually played against either one of the two schools. Played at one of the two schools. Hannah family member went to one of the two schools. Or or people that, that, that um, one particular set of people tagged in the video, a married couple, one works with Michigan, one works with Michigan State. And the one which makes it state, of course, the parents went to Michigan State. But you already know who y'all are. And I'm going to tell you right now, yeah, I expect this to be a game. I'm not even predicting a blow. Mr. Michigan crazy guy, but I know Michigan going to pull it off. And, and, and it's bad to say it's not an eye test, because these are teams lost the game. We don't have them to go off of them. Made a Nebraska game. Of course, the boys, we both had trouble in this Nebraska, so can't knock nobody there. This might be the grand day they want, because figure no trash talk this week. No pranks. I mean, they didn't even doggone even even try to paint the statue blue and gold at, at Michigan State. What? This is going to be very interesting. This, everybody like, this is serious time now. This is like serious. I've never seen this rival this series. We didn't go into school for our own pranks this week. No no quotables for nobody. No juicy quotes. No little brother, big brother, questionable brother. Nobody said nothing this week. Nothing. I mean, this is just like the most quiet is hyped up. The game is hyped up in itself. Oh, somebody just came on in IG. Give him a quick wave. If I can do this correctly. And it's like... Uh, man, I just ready though. Tomorrow, 12 noon. My other disappointment is that they put this game on at 12 noon. Yes. This is supposed to be a night. You got two undefeated teams rivaling. This is Allen. This is why I feel there's a little discrimination against teams in the North. Yeah, I'm actually giving a shout for both teams in the situation. Number one, this is supposed to be prime time. This is going to be probably better than Alabama and Auburn this year. Flat out, point blank. I'm saying that on the record right now. If, if uh, George, you watching this, you know you know you like that rivalry, but this one's better this year by far. Okay. So, I really don't have a point in this video. I'm just like, just got to get a little ran off, you know. This game, you know, go blue. Is she going to win tomorrow? I ain't going to say. I don't expect no 40-point blowout. I already know these teams are equally, literally equally matched. We got tough defenses, grounded pound offense. Michigan, better running team. Michigan State, maybe a little better through the air. But as I said, this rivalry, who usually wins? The team with a better running game. We know who that is. I'm sure they question did Michigan back in, but doggone it. The state front end is not as tough as Michigan, I think, up front seven. Actually, Michigan has the best pass rushing defensive end in the country. Who's related to somebody who used to play at Michigan. So, tradition goes on, like I said. So, in case y'all ask my prediction of the final score, and this is what I've been saying to everybody all day. 27-24 Michigan. I don't say this much. I got a little nails being invited off, you know, to run, you know, just buy off a couple nails tomorrow, but... It's all good. It's going to be all good for you of him. Then next, we got to take care of those boys down south. Both of us. Take them out of their misery once and for all. Send them to a third-rate toss salad bowl this year. Please. I don't want them even talking about they're going to win the Big Ten. Mm -hmm. You know, the boys down south, in, in, uh, down about, what, 250 miles, four miles, hours, 10 minute drive to Columbus. We got to take them out. But... We'll take care of that in a couple of weeks. Tomorrow, though, I say this much. I expect a great game. Maybe we'll get a little, little, little push and shove and post, post plagues. But right now, it's been quiet, too quiet. This is never. I've never seen a week before Michigan, Michigan State game 
the fans are always normal, but the players, nothing. Hardball, nothing. Uh, I forgot the MSU coach name. He didn't say nothing. He kind of do to this thing, so I didn't expect him to say a lot. But Hardball Quiet, hmm, that's interesting in the dog. So, I guess y'all gonna make some comments, make a little noise up here. I tagged people on both sides of the fence on this one. Go Blue. We're going to take it down tomorrow by 3.30. We'll be 8-0. See you later. Bye.